Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to make a quick little guide about how to set up Mihon on Android. It's a really good app for reading pretty much any manga you want completely for free. I am showing this guide on an Android tablet, but the setup process should be pretty much identical on any Android device with either phone or tablet. So first thing what you're gonna do is open up your preferred browser of choice. And then you'll need to search for Mihon. Go on the first result. Download. And download the APK. You, you will get probably a warning like this saying that it might be harm, harmful, but it's completely safe. So you can just go ahead and tap download anyway. After that, go into your downloads. And you will have to install the APK. Now, if it's the first time that you're side loading an app on your device, you may need to do an extra step where you need to uh, enable settings like to install from uh, third party sources. But it's only like one extra step. It should show like an option here. After that, you should be able to install it with no issues. So now that we have this uh, downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and install. And that's all done. Now, before opening the app, I'm just gonna switch the aspect ratio to like vertical view, because I assume most people, especially on tablet, are gonna use it in vertical view for reading. So I'm just gonna pause the recording and I'll be right back. So now that the app is installed, you should be able to find it in your app drawer. So just go ahead and open it. And upon first launch, it's gonna give you like this uh, setup guide where you can choose uh, the design. So I'm just gonna have it on dynamic and I'm gonna stay to dark mode, then tap next. You'll need to select a folder for uh, like backups and in case you want to download um, chapters of mangas for offline read, like offline view. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select documents and tap use this folder, tap allow, and then next. And here we have to grant some permissions. So we have to grant app install permission, notification permissions if you want, and background battery usage. This, especially in case if you want to download like multiple chapters of mangas to be able to read uh, offline without internet connection, then this is great. So I'm gonna go ahead and grant it as well. And next, and here, if you have like a backup from another device, then you can restore backup. Otherwise, just that one gets started. So this is what the app is gonna look like by default. So next thing we're gonna do is we're, you'll need to go back to your browser and you'll have to go to this web page. Uh, it's kyoshi.github.io slash extensions. I'm gonna have this uh, down in the video description as well. So you can go ahead and just uh, open it from there. And once you have this page open, you will need to make sure that you don't have the web page open, open in desktop in desktop view. Um, if it is in desktop view, as in my case, just go ahead and untap that. And now we just tap on add repository and this is going to edit automatically to the Mihon app. So now that this is done, you can go back, go on browse, go on extensions, let's just go back. And yeah, if you reload it, it's just gonna like uh, load in all the extensions from the, from the repository. Now, what we're gonna, what I personally use at least, is this extension called Mangasi. From my experience, at least, this tends to have the best quality scans and official translations. So just go ahead and search for it, then uh, tap on that and tap install. Now after it's installed, it's gonna be set by default as untrusted. So you're gonna go ahead and tap on that, then select trust. So once you go back to sources, you're gonna see Mangasi listed there. So you can just 
go into that and it's gonna load in like a bunch of popular mangas on the extension you can also go ahead and search for whatever you're looking for so let's just search for example for freeran and there it is so from here you can just tap on that and it's going to have all the chapters listed here and you can just go ahead and start reading it so let's just go to chapter one and just like with a norm normal manga it's going to be scrolling from the right to left so if you tap on the left on the left side it's going to switch the pages and that's about it so you have it all set up and configured and what's neat about this app is that in the case of like double page panels like in this case it's going to crop and zoom in automatically so no matter what the aspect ratio is it's always going to crop in and adjust and it's just gonna look great <laughs> by default so that that's about it now if you want to add any of the manga from the extension to your library uh, you can just go back to history here is going to show like everything that you search for you can just go ahead and go back into it and tap add to library and now it's going to be there from here you can also download any chapter you want just tap on the little arrow and it's going to download it so that way you'll be able to open it and read it without requiring an internet connection and that's all so i hope this was useful if you have any questions guys uh, let me know i'm gonna res respond to any questions in the comment section and yeah that's about it